Hi everyone and welcome to Caroline's Craft Tree. Today I would like to show you the new digital kit. I'm just calling it Photo Slides and with this kit you can make these really cute looking photo slide style embellishments. I've just made a little variety just to show you. This one here has actually real flowers in it. And this one was just like a clear Mac tack and I just put a sticker and some cutouts from it. This one is just basically plain. This one has a little bead charm on the side. I really think these turned out really, really cute. This one is vellum. The green part is vellum with just a little cutout butterfly. This one has some vellum and some cute little flowers that I had made. Some folded paper ribbon and just a little butterfly I made. And then this, this one I just decorated with a couple of cutouts. So I'm also going to show you quickly how to assemble one also. So in the kit you receive nine different backgrounds of the photo slides with some words and then you get a second copy of the photo slides as you need two photo slides per embellishment and then just a bunch of words in smaller and bigger letters with some photographs and I included one blank space in case you want to use it as a template to cut out your photos so let's get started you will need to cut everything out. I've already done a bunch of it. So I cut mine just the edges and then I use my quarter rounder and then I just do the edges that way. So if you have the right size of quarter round you can easily do that. Now to cut out the middle everybody will have their own technique and this is how I did it. I just took my hole punch and punched a little spot in it and then I went ahead and cut it which you guys don't need to see me cut it all out as I do have pieces already cut out on what I want to do so for each photo slide you will need two of the cutouts a picture or you could use your actual real pictures you could use vellum you could use scrapbook paper you could use anything pretty much for the inside and I've just choose two words I've choose building memories and happiness and I'm just going to use a little piece of lace for a bit of decoration so get out my glue and I just pretty much go, go around the edge on the back side and then I've already cut the picture out and I didn't cut all the way around because it's hidden anyways so I cut it flush where the edges were going to but the other two edges it really doesn't matter so I'm just going to drop this on here about where I think it should be because I can move it around a bit and that looks pretty good to me so then on this side, these are so easy to assemble. You can decorate them any way you like. The possibilities are endless. And you can mix and match everything. So once I get all the glue on that side, I just plop it onto there. And I did use vintage photo ink on the back of the picture just because I didn't want it like bright white back there. So once it's together, I just squeeze this all. And I squeeze it for a bit because I want it glued on there really good. So now for embellishment, I'm going to put this bit of ribbon there or lace. 
So I'm just going to put a little glue right along there. Put that piece of lace on there. And this one is just one of the words on there. I'm going to glue up the back of that. And put it right in the middle there. You could use any words for this as well. Push that down. And the little words I've made to go to the top. And this one is Building Memories. So I'm going to put that on the top, right in the middle up here. And there you have the photo slide. The back, you could write on it. You could even put a second picture on the back. The possibilities are endless. So for these ones, with the hanger on them, I just put a little grommet in there. I just used my hole punch. Punch the hole, put the grommet in. And put one of the garment pins on it. So you could hang it. Or in the case of this one, I did the grommet and I just hung a little bead charm on there. You could hang it by that if you wanted. And hung it on the corner of your page. Just let it dangle. You could even put paper clips on the back and make them into actual paper clips for on your pages. Use them as little cards. Use them as an embellishment, just glue it down onto your page. A tuck spot. Possibilities are endless. I was very, very pleased with how well these turned out. I think they turned out really, really good. I really like them. I will definitely be using a lot of them in my upcoming journals. So, and this clear one. I actually uh, used, I had some clear Mac tap type stuff. It was sticky on one side. So I just sandwiched those things in between two sticky pieces and that's how it turned out. So you could use, put anything in between them. And then this one with the vellum, you can just kind of see through it. It was just a green printed sheet with like leaves on it for the vellum and this one like say I just put some dried flowers I happen and this you use that clear matte tack as well and then like say this one was just kind of plain I also this one here just is a plain background so you could use it as a template and trace it onto any paper that you had. But I hope you enjoyed these. I enjoyed making them and I just loved how they turned out. Thanks for watching.